have the first one. Uh, Swarup or Swarup. I'm sorry if I don't pronounce it well. Uh, next uh, question, please. Yeah. Uh, hi, Sumit. Uh, talk I, about today. Can you, uh, can you just take us, you know, through your match today and, and this tournament also? What were your objectives when you started playing in South America? You went on to the quarterfinals just the last uh, one or two weeks, ever since you departed Australia. Um, uh, the goal was to play as many matches as possible. Um, if I, if you look at my last four months, I haven't played many matches. I was injured for a bit. Then I went to Australia. Then we all had to do two weeks of quarantine. And unfortunately, I had uh, first first round uh, losses in uh, in uh, in Melbourne. And then I was I was uh, lacking a bit of uh, match practices, I would say. And my goal was to come on clay to the to the surface where I really enjoy playing and to play as many matches as possible. And I think I'm happy. Uh, not just because I may I made it to quarters or or uh, I played a three setter today, but just uh, I got to play uh, good matches on high quality. Following question, Abreshmina, please. Yeah, hi, Sumit. Hi. Yeah, uh, I just wanted to ask. Obviously, I mean, uh, towards the end, uh, you did put uh, a lot of effort uh, during the Ramos Villalas uh, service game when you guys were five five in the final set, and you did put a lot of effort over there. So, do you think that kind of contributed to the final service game where you kind of struggled to hit the lines? I mean, obviously, it was really close. I mean, yeah, I mean, uh, to hit lines, I don't think. Uh, People are that good enough to hit lines whenever they want. I mean, sometimes it just happens, sometimes it doesn't. Um, it was towards the end. I knew I knew how much energy I had, so I had to play a bit a bit more risk, uh, risky game or risky service game, I would say. Um, uh, to put energy in the five all, I had to uh, because that was the right play. To if if uh, I mean, I did have a break point. He 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 aced me on on a break point and played really solid uh, next two points. Uh, but uh, that five-all game could have gone either way, and just imagine if uh, if me putting all the energy would have worked towards me, and uh, it's a different story when you serve five-six than you serve six-five. So I think that was the right play to do it, and I I don't think uh, hitting lines is that easy for any tennis player. Yeah, thank following, you. Following following question, Tanuj, please. Hi, Sumit. Hi. Uh, I just want to understand how do you uh how do you what do you, what are your takeaways from this match do you do you focus on the return from 5 2 or do you focus on that you were one game, one point away from potentially serving for the match uh it's that's a it's a funny way to put it because uh my coach said the same thing he said you know i i when i finished the match and i spoke i said you know i just wish if that that uh that ace or that uh, break point would have gone to my, towards my way. He said, yeah, but he, even he was serving 5-2 and he was, you were lucky or whatever, you know, uh, to get back into the match. So I think it just, uh, it worked uh, with me and against me. And But that's how, uh, that's the beauty of sport. Uh, things change very quickly um, and it can go either way. Thank you. Following question, Shahid, please. Yeah, hi Sumit. Uh, hi, since hi. you mentioned that obviously, like you, hi hi. Since you mentioned that obviously you've struggled to get a lot of match time because of the injury and you know the first round losses. All of a sudden over here you've had six good matches for the qualifiers and now reaching here as well. How does the body feel in this time? I mean, was there a little fatigue also creeping in because uh, six matches in a row after a very long time for you? Yeah, definitely because. Um uh, first of all, play a lot of matches. The conditions also very slow here. You don't get free points on your serve, so you are you are literally playing every point. Um, also, uh, I don't remember the last time I played uh, six matches in six days. So definitely something ne I need to get used to it. Um, uh, but you know the season just started for me on clay, and there is a long, long season to go ahead. Uh, so I'll just uh, take week by week and keep working on things. Following question, Rudvik, please. Hi, Sumit. Uh, Hi, Rudvik. Hi, Sumit. So, uh, you know, you said you, you felt happy that you got a, a few quality matches under your belt at the top level uh, this week. Uh, you know, you won your first ADP 250 match. You beat the, the second seed and you got a top 25 win. 
what would be your next kind of challenge to you know string together these wins at the top level and uh, what would it take for you to consistently do that i think uh, to to be uh, uh, play a lot of matches on atp 250 or 500 or even higher level would be would be my goal you know uh, play qualies and and go through qualies um uh, it's tough to say because you know a lot of lot of conditions are different so um it's if if i have to uh, tell you just looking into my game i would say all i need to do is uh, just enjoy competing because like i said i haven't played much and right now i'm really enjoying being back on the court so i would like to keep it this way avresh mina avresh mina follow up with question please yeah uh hi sumit again uh hi. i just uh, also wanted to ask i mean obviously uh, your forehands are like really big and how much are you working on your backhand say to support that uh, big forehand uh there is a lot of work going in on both the strokes to be honest um my uh, i still did a lot of errors from my forehand side still a lot of played a lot of mistakes so i wouldn't say it's just uh, my forehand is that good enough where i don't need to work but uh to be honest i'm working on my four and back and serves and um, everything i mean it's it's a lot it's a lot of work that still needs to be uh, still needs to be done yeah thanks all the best no worries thank you uh one question from an argentinian journalist lautaro miranda sure hi sumit uh, well congratulations hi. for your great tournament uh, so Thank I you. want to ask you about the the tennis in the India because this week it uh, takes place an M15 in Lucknow. I'm right, a uh, future tournament. So, uh, what your message? For you, for the young tennis players in India. Lautaro no se escucha bien. Lautaro, ¿podrías hacer la pregunta en español? Sorry, sí, se me escucha bien. Sí, hace la pregunta en español, por favor. Yeah, better now. Porta. Sí, bueno, que se está jugando un torneo M15 en la India y algún mensaje que él le quiera dar a todos los chicos que sueñan con jugar este tipo de torneos. Muchas gracias, Maxi. Sorry, the, the question is there's a currently an an F M15 tournament in your country uh, what message would you keep to the young players that that see you play and, and to be, I always I always I always say the same thing I mean if you get a chance to be on a court to be to uh, get a chance to compete man just take it you know because these chances you don't get every day you don't get to play match every day so I mean at, at the end of the day your goal is to become a good tennis player and to become a good tennis player you need to be on a court you need to enjoy the process you need to enjoy playing matches and this is what I would say just enjoy because if you're not enjoying everything gets tough uh following question Tanuj again uh Sumit I just want to understand also uh what were you thinking uh in the middle of the second set you went for a uh, you went for a change over um what were your thoughts at that moment and uh my thoughts was to put everything in the third set because i knew he's not going to give it to me and i knew uh the amount of energy i had i have to take it from him so from so my my aim my goal was to play as aggressive as possible and to to uh, take more more risk than than uh, than i i did in second or first set Okay, thank you. Uh I I think we have another question from Shahid. Oh uh, yeah, so me just one more thing. Um how let's say different has traveling been during this uh, I mean the post uh, I mean during this pandemic spell from Australia going to Argentina, you know, different countries, different precautions. And I mean obviously in Australia you had that 14 day period in quarantine but uh, how has the traveling aspect been and is there a fear as well of during the travels I think fear is there because you know sometimes even if even if you're taking pre- all the precautions and all it's now no 100% guarantee that you know you're safe and also to travel from Melbourne to Argentina to it, I mean I played Cordoba first week it took me 5 days to get there and that was the fastest way to to get there. so right now it's not easy because there's 
one flight in two days or, or something like this. So I hope things, things changes, things get better. People are taking care of uh, each other, but uh, this is how it is. And um, what, what I have in my hand, what the, I mean, whatever I can do, I will probably do it uh, in order to keep things safely for everyone. Uh, let me give uh, the following question to an Argentinian journalist, Andrea Versace, please. Hi, Sumit, how are you? Uh, Hello. <laughs> Hello. Uh, well, um, how your season continue? How your season continue? I still can't hear you, sorry. Uh, what, what are your plans for the next weeks uh, on tour? Uh, for me right now, I have to decide if I want to play the, uh, the ATP event in Santiago or to go back home because right now it's already Friday and if I have to, if, if I have to play the qualies, I would have to fly either tonight and do the quarantine, which I don't know if I can, uh, self-isolation, sorry, if I, if I wouldn't have enough time to play the qualies match. So I will have to uh, sit with my coach and take a decision. Thank you. Uh, following question for uh, for and uh, Swarup. Um, hi, Sumit. Uh, again, hi. Uh, you have in the past. I mean, all of us do know that tennis is an expensive sport, and you yourself have uh, touched upon the financial sort of you know the, the struggles that come with it. So obviously, you you played in the main draw for Grand Slam. Uh, a deep enough run in an ATP event. So how does you know this set you up for the rest of the year? From a financial perspective, does this give you options of, of traveling more? I mean, even though that in a pandemic, that's kind of a joke. So, I mean, on those lines? Yeah. I'll, one thing I'll just say, year is long. And uh, right now, what I've made, it's, it's what I've, where are we? We are in for, well, first, week of, first week of March. So, I mean, yeah, sure, it, there are a lot of expenses. But if I keep playing, keep performing... Well, in the on a on a ATP level tour level, I think things should be easier because just because also most of the tour will be in Europe, so it's easier to travel, easier to uh, the expenses goes a bit down. So I think I hopefully I, I should be okay. Well, following question, Rudvik again. Wow. Hi, Sumit. Just just wondering, does does a tournament like this give you more confidence where you have had like five good wins, grinding through the qualifiers, then beating two top guys? Does it give you more uh, more of a step in the stride than, say, a Grand Slam win uh, or like a Grand Slam debut? Yeah, for sure. I mean, like I said earlier, uh, every tennis player wants to play a lot of matches, wants to win a lot of matches because this is, if you remember uh, Australian Open this year, there was this player, uh, one of my friends, Aslan. He made same as, if you look at it, he's played probably 30, 30, 40, 40 matches in the last five months, six months, uh, which gave him a lot of confidence. And once you have confidence, uh, it's, it's, you become a very, very dangerous player. So for me, uh, I've, I feel, feel way better than I felt seven days ago. So I will definitely be, be looking forward to be, to be playing next tournament and taking the confidence from here. I Thank think you. we have a question from Xenia, who cannot raise the, the hand, but... If you want to ask, Senia? Yeah. Apparently, we cannot hear you. Well, anyway, we have a question from an Argentinian journalist. We are finishing the, um, the press conference. If there are no more questions, Claudio? Sí, quería consulta en español, puede ser? Yeah, sí. No, quería preguntarle, vi que mucha gente lo siguió en Twitter estos días, lo que hizo acá en la Argentina, y quería preguntarle cómo está el tenis eh, en India, sabemos que es un deporte muy tradicional, cómo está viendo, si lo sigue practicando mucha gente, cómo, y si hay figuras nuevas, cómo ve el, el tenis en su país. Uh, the question would be, um, we know that in, in, in India there's a sort of tradition in tennis and how's the current situation? Uh, are there a lot of players? How's the situation of the sport uh, right now in, in, in India? Uh, I mean, a lot of people are playing tennis. I mean, uh, probably third or fourth most uh, uh, playable sp uh, sport in India right now. But uh, if 
the level is not great right now. Like as, as I mentioned uh, yesterday or day before yesterday that uh, we're still missing out on a structure. We're still missing out on a system in our country. And uh, once that is done, hopefully we are able to have uh, better players in singles. Uh, okay, uh, I, I just want to check if, if Senia listens to me and, and wants to ask a question. I, I read it in the, in the chat, in the group chat, but I don't know sure. if she... If, if. Zenia? Well, okay, if, no more, if there's no more questions, thanks, uh, Sumit. Uh, thanks, it was thanks. a pleasure having you here this week, and the best for the rest Thank of the season. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye.